If you read an uh, instruction book today in a car, it says you cannot recline the seat. Uh, because the belts and the airbags are not designed for a reclined seat as we see here. The curtain is up there on, in the roof. Uh, the seat belt is in the B pillar far away from, from the occupant. If a OEM is sort of allowing people to recline, in that situation, today belts and airbags are not designed for that. What we show here is where we have designed the seat belt in the seat. Airbag covering the, the, uh, the driver here for four side impact, for a far side impact. If we go sort of one step further and, and twist the seat, if that is allowed, or even 180 degrees, this is sort of making sure the occupant stays here and have an airbag uh, close. If we start with from a crash test dummy perspective, there are no crash test dummies that can recline. Basically they are, they are designed to sit upright. But that doesn't stop us to, as we've done before, to come up with products before we get sort of the uh, physical tools to confirm we were right. So what we do is we use we work with uh, numerical simulations. At Audley we do our we do have these these models. Uh, they are biofidelic and I think we are pretty unique in having these these tools. I mean the frequency of crashes with this type of scenarios is is much fewer than than we have seen today. But it will happen. The crash will not entirely come as a surprise. There will be a heads up with the active sensors in the car. Um, we will have more time to deploy the airbags and the belts. So even if we can't sort of avoid the crash itself, at least we have more time to um, deploy the airbag and maybe even race up the seat back but then as we see here and then we see in the movie the cocoon came up uh, quick enough to to uh, actually make this as a crash as an experience